On SmithHub, the Hot or Not feature allows other artists to give you feedback on your songs. We got over 100 reviews on SmithHub, and here's what we learned. I'm Mark. I'm Justin. And we're My Loving Tiger. We started this band 17 years ago. Now we're back. To revisit, re-record, and re-release every song we've ever written. So come and join us. Tip number one, drop the intro. Most people only listen to a fraction of the song. As you can see from these comments that love that you started singing right away, while this other comment said got the right vibe right from the get-go. Love that. As you can see from these comments, a song that starts without an intro is preferred and gets a higher rating overall. So to maximize listener attention, use the shortest possible intro or no intro at all. Not only is a strong intro important, a strong outro is important. It's important to have a strong outro if you want the listener to loop the song. In this comment, while the raider liked the song overall, they felt that the ending wasn't strong enough and didn't give them the payoff they hoped for. Research shows that a fade actually increases re-listening. In the description box below, I will link a video from the Vox channel that explains this idea in more detail. Tip number two, connect with other artists. There's a couple ways we connect with other artists on SmithHub. When you leave feedback for other artists, you can check a box to get messages about your comments. It can be fun to talk to other people in your genre, and this is a great way to connect with other people in your scene. When you listen to a song, you can follow that artist's page. When you're following an artist, you receive notifications about new releases. This is one of the reasons it's important to release your tracks over time and not all at once. The third way to connect with other artists is if they add you to a playlist. This is a great way to find other like-minded listeners. Tip number three, learn to accept feedback. Not every piece of feedback we got was good, thoughtful, or constructive. Here's an example of a comment where they seem to say we did a good job, love the artwork, mix is very clean, nice sound. That sounded like a good comment, but they rated it much lower. In this comment, they said cool song, they liked our snare drum, and they thought we had a good mix, but they still rated us slightly low. A lot of it ended up being confusing or conflicting, but still we felt it was important to reflect on what we could learn from each impression. Fortunately, SubmitHub offers an AI summary of your feedback. Here are some examples of AI summaries. See how they compare to the raw comments we just looked at? Reading a summary can cut through the conflicting perspectives and help you identify themes or trends. Tip number four, find your audience. The genre tag can have a huge impact on your results. We used SubmitHub's What's My Genre tool to scan our songs and suggest some possible genres. This can be a good place to start, but plan to test and refine these tags. If you look at our examples, you will see they often tag us with a metal subgenre. So use your best judgment about which tags you will use. Here's our results to show the importance of genre. In this first example, we use the tags post-hardcore, pop-punk, alternative rock, indie rock, and emo. The spread here is 10 points. In this second example, we use the tags emo, indie pop, alternative rock, and indie rock. If you look, the spread here is almost 20 points. In this final example, we use the tags emo, indie rock, alternative rock, and post-punk. And here the spread is 20 points. So hopefully by looking at these examples, you can see genre has a huge impact on how people score your song. So see you in the next video when we look at promoting your song using SubmitHub.